Yum. H2O. Scrumptious. Exactly what I felt like. I don't know. There we go. Bring the picture up. Hola, you wonderful, wonderful people. Here we go. Now, we are doing layer uno on this fantastic fresh canvas. I can't wait. This canvas has been primed exactly how I like it primed to a T. Hello, Pink, how we doing? G'day guys, Fruit Cove, didn't know it was a place, but Scotty, glad you're here. No wait, of course I know Fruit Cove's a place. <laughs> That's Scott. Scott, how we doing? Have you seen the most recent layer on your work? I am in love with it. In fact, since you're here, I'm gonna grab it. But, not, in, uh, blah, blah, blah. not until I've explained uh, what's going on here. I posted a quick live about it. If you wanna see the shot we're gonna be doing to start today, um, that'll be in the little, uh, not a live, a story. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting all confused with the different terms that we're supposed to use. I posted a story about the picture that we're starting today. It's for Steve, it's a wave, and I'm in love with it. This here is a fresh canvas. This canvas is raw. It's uh, 18 fox. Don't worry about that. All it means is that it's thick. A thick canvas is good because it means that uh, once it is stretched, it holds its ground better. Now, uh, I've added transparent gesso. So it's quite a uh, tough surface now, but it hasn't actually affected the color of it. Why? I don't want it perfectly white. I feel like we sort of cheat the canvas out of being what it wants to be. The canvas is naturally a slightly tan color, and so we use clear gesso to sort of honor that. Um, in this case, I want to make it as raw as possible. I'm hoping that towards the end, there'll still be parts of this raw canvas peeking around the sides. And uh, yeah, a lot of vibrancy and a lot of color in this wave. I cannot wait. Now, Scott, let me show you this. We will be working on it later today. Let's hold it on the side there. We're gonna work on this one later today, but I'll show you now. This is where we're at with this one. Now, one thing I really like about this, completely full of color, really vibrant, a lot of life. At the moment, you'll see that the hands and the face have low definition. This is a really, really good sign early in a painting. And the, re hey Victoria, how you doing? The reason it's a good sign is it means that we're spreading our intention evenly over the entire canvas. The detail in the background matches the detail in the faces and the hands. Really, really important because if we put all our focus into the hands and the face, actually if you look at the work on a volume metric, you'll see that actually the hands and face only make up about 10% of the work. There's all this other space that needs love and attention and vibrancy, which we're getting. So, as we keep building, we'll keep seeing more of those faces and hopefully as we move more into our sage greens, which more exciting news on that. More exciting news on the sage greens. Where did I hide it? Oh, maybe I'll put it over here. Did I? Yes, I did. Didn't have exactly the green I wanted, so I went and got one. We're on cobalt green. One of my favorite greens. Now, that's gonna be what we start to embody the canvas with towards the later layers. Great fun. All right, done and dusted there. Now, paint palette, starting a canvas. Here it is. Look at that, very exciting. Just black. Now, the problem with just black is it's not gonna run fantastically. How do we fix that? We get our, I love this stuff because we talk so much on the stream about primalism, about painting raw, about using rudimentary tools and being primal. This stuff's actual name, primal, two liter. So this is the goods. Um, <laughs> you know what you can buy yourself flowers, you live that dream. How did you prepare the canvas? Well, after it was stretched, 
And so I use the thickest canvas available, the 18 box, which is like a really, you know, like thin paper versus thick paper. Go for very thick. I mean, thin's fine, but I like thick. Um, and then get transparent gesso. Transparent gesso means that you don't try and hide the canvas. You don't know which areas are white and which areas are not. Why make the whole thing white? Put the transparent gesso on it to make the surface uh, mechanically what you want it to be. But, uh, hmm, hold on. This is sealed on pretty tight. Um, but still workable in all the right ways. Are you going to travel? Um, maybe. Hold on. We have to swap mediums if I can't get this open. Here we go. That was embarrassing. It's like you give me a pickle jar or something. You're like, Shelby, I can't open the pickle jar. There we go. Lots of liquid. Hello, Karen, I'm fantastic. Um, do you sell your paintings, Andre? Yes, I do. So there's no paintings currently available online at the moment. I keep my last four in the studio so my space looks nice. If you DM me, I can share them with you and maybe you'll really like one, but I'm sort of attached to my last few. Um, and if you, 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 you want a commission, there's no availability until late next month. So I think there's one spot left though. So if you want to leap on that, jump in the link in the bio and there's a commission form you can fill out and we can go from there. They ship worldwide anywhere you want them to go. So that's fun. Now, here we go. We have our liquid, we have our black, we have our canvas, we have our picture. We have me, I'm full of enthusiasm, and we have a lovely group of people. What more could you want? Now, kicking off, let's go. Just through here, first thing we're going to notice is not the wave itself, but the massive shadow that's been cast by the rider of the wave. In fact, towards the end of this picture, one of the most intense pieces of it is going to be the fact that this rider casts a shadow on the wave. Which I reckon is kind of funny. You got so high. Da 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 Okay, there's a board here. The board comes down to here. We're not going to focus too much on the board right now, but that is basically where it ends up. How fun is that? Um, let's just go like that. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. All right, we're gonna add this in here. More down here. Just black right now, guys. We're building up the black, and then we'll move into into two, 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 two. Ooh. See that? Got some on myself. Not as good as I thought it was. Anyway, here we are, more here, more here. Now this is a special canvas, we're not going to go the whole way around the sides like we normally do guys, doing the homework as such. We're going to let the brush strokes, oof, paint, you want to see the reference pic? I posted a story of it, so I thought rather than showing it over and over again, I'd post a quick story about what it's going to look like, and then go from there, but it was cheeky of me because I posted it basically straight before I went live, which didn't really give you a chance. So in future, I'll post it in the morning so you can see it, and then I will put a count, a timer on the live. Oh my God, guys, we're getting so systemized, we're getting so clever. Is water pintor? Um, no, is no water pintor is acrylic pintor. Pinta. Pintos, that's a starter in Spain. In Spain, they have pintos, it's like, we have starters, but then they have mini starters, which are like one bite each, and you buy them for like two bucks, and they're fun. Pintos are fun. Oh, Misty eye. 
mountain below. Keep careful kept a watch, oh my brother's soul. And if the sky be filled with fire and smoke, this whole corner's black down here, the whole thing. There we go. We're going to add more details as we go on, but right now, capturing the black ish, good enough. There we go. Now we're going to let that brush go around the edges a little bit. Just do little swipes here and there. But we don't want to cover up that canvas, guys. That canvas is beauty. That's what we're after. You got me so high. Here we go. Hello. That comes through here. Perfectos. And then we've got the character. Stay hydrated, team. Thank you, Victoria. Absolutely, guys. Um, I haven't put those t-shirts up yet to stay hydrated, but if you are after a paint like one of your French girls t-shirts, there's been a few people grabbing last night, which I was laying in bed, I had to turn off the notifications because they were popping through. So and so ordered a li uh, large shirt, so and so ordered this. Been really cool. The football jerseys have been super popular. <laughs> um, so if you want to grab one, go for gold. They are via the link in the bio. You can get everything you need via the link in the bio. Um, huge fan though. They look so cool. So cool. Um, I'm going to upload the design soon to... They're making a banner out of it. So I can put it on places like YouTube and Facebook, which I'm excited for. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Victoria. Um, so, I was saying before though, one wild card thing, they don't ship to New Zealand. So I've got someone who's gonna buy a few for me, and then I will, uh, then, then, then once it arrives at their house, they'll ship it to me, which would be pretty exciting. All right, for the very, very perceptive ones in the room, who's super perceptive? There's 550 people here, some of you might be perceptive. All of you are, you're all amazing individuals. What we've got here, you can't buy that with a dollar. I mean, a dollar a dollar's a great start. Um, anyway, what we've got here, a man on a wave. If you look carefully, you'll see the energy and vibrant, not vibrancy, it's gonna add color to it, but movement. Wave coming up here. You haven't seen this part, why not? That's the white part of the wave. I haven't noticed any black there yet. Yes, someone surfing. Michael, you absolute champion. Now, although we've got the character here and the few brush strokes we've done, I mean, I love it. I, I think this is real special right here. But we're going to keep adding in some colors, vibrancy and energy to it and building it up. So here's where we're at. The next thing to grab is, although it's just white up in this corner, there are some little moments, some little... Bits. Just one little bit through here. There we go. This is going to show you, just with a few little strokes, get ready for this. This is going to show you the size of the wave. Just with a few. Just going to grab a few little bits. And this is what's going to insinuate that the whole wave is curling over. Curling over on our man Steve. Here we go. Hello. Bang, just like that. Up it goes, the whole thing, we are in. Now, are we gonna continue with this color or are we gonna swap over? That's always the question. That's always the question. Um, we're gonna move on to a little bit of blue. So we're gonna keep the black. We're gonna keep working with the black, but we're gonna grab some blues to funk up the black. They look like planes. Well, they can be planes. It's art, it's subjective. Whatever you want, it's all good. Do we have Steve in the room right now? Steve, are you here? Steve! Steve! Sorry guys, just squeezing out a bit of blue. Here we go, this tube's out. That's another tube of paint. Gone and gone. 
I knew Kiwi's phone, I'd have gone sooner. I don't quite understand what's been said, but I'm enthusiastic for you. If you come and visit New Zealand, it's an amazing place. We do great coffee, although you wouldn't believe it because I'm here drinking instant coffee right now. Yum, though, yum. I'm a Makona man myself. I love Makona coffee. I love five, so the classic. I don't like the eight. I used to drink a lot of the eight, but instead I just add twice as much five. I find the eight tastes just a little bit burnt. Not bitter, just burnt. So that's just me. That's just me. Light goal for 15K perhaps. Victoria, you're the best. Now, how's this color looking? It's actually, is this the color I'm after? Are you my color? Ah, uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. It's not the exact color I want, I don't think, but let me dabble with it a little bit longer and see what comes out. I'm liking it for a few areas, but not for the areas I was intending on it for. That's okay, that's okay, we'll dabble, we'll dabble, we'll dabble. Here we go. Just like that. You got me so high. Here we go. This comes down here. And there you go. And there you go. Bit more around here. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now, even though we're in the early layers, I'm applying texture thin. Thin it because I want to. Um, make sure I can come back later and see more. Did someone ask what they're seeing? They are seeing, what do they want to see? It's the early layers at the moment. So hopefully we're gonna get a big barreling wave with a surfer on it, but you know what? The world's a wild place. We'll have to see what turns out. Um, all, oh, thank you, Victoria. Yep, she's correct, guys. Victoria's correct, she usually is. All the links for everything you need are in the bio. So, Replays, uh, Instagram, Twitter, um, <laughs> apparel, there's a, there's a clothing store now, how fun is that? Clothing store, you can reach out for a commission, there's a link there, there's one more spot available for late next month, could be yours, otherwise, if it doesn't get taken, that's also fantastic, because we'll leap on some projects of passion, which, it's been a while, so. And collect something fun. There we go, creeping around the sides of the canvas in all the ways we want it to. There we go. We're using blue, substituting it for everywhere. We're actually, it's more like a medium gray or black, and that's okay. Now these waves are starting blue. Are they gonna finish blue? Probably not. We're gonna add in a lot of colors. A lot of energy, a lot of colors. Um, paint's gonna be excited. There's gonna be a lot of magenta dabbling around in this painting. Absolutely. Here we go. You got me so high. Think I'm dancing. Here we go. Beautiful. Your way to beautiful girl. Why it'll never work, you got me suicide, suicide, when you see it's silver. Bow, 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 wow, bow, wow, bow, 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 um, Paint me like one of your French girls, George. You know what? Good for you. And it's so exciting. Oh, Kiwi girls, I prefer that. That's a good way to say it. Oh my God, it should be a kiwi on the shirt rather than a French bread stick. George, the next one, the next one. But if you do want paint me like one of your French girls, it's up now, available in the shop. It's all yours. Almost 15K guys, keep it up, you're all fantastic. You're all the best. We're swapping away from the blacks now. We've got enough black in it. We're gonna start moving into the grays, more grays, more fun. If you're from New Zealand, like me, 
I'm afraid. You'll have to wait. Currently, the clothing store has closed off shipping to New Zealand. Well, there's been some circumstances that have made it tough for them. I'm, I think like COVID related, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, the pause for now, they'll be back. It'll be sorted. I have not seen one artist use a dinner plate as a palette before. Please, can I ask why? Of course you can. Of course you can. So, we use a dinner plate as a palette because porcelain's great for paint. It doesn't stick to it so much. And I like holding it. I like how it feels in my hand. It feels like more natural in a palette. Um, it's well weighted. It's got everything going for it. So, if you're looking for an endorsement on a massive scale, you won't find it. If you're looking for an excuse like, I like it, so I do it, you've come to the right place. 15k, well done guys, you absolute champions. Here we go, just adding in some of this grey now. Now this grey is going to provide an undertone, it's going to wet the canvas a little bit, and then when we come back with our vibrant greens, blues, yellows, and magentas, it'll provide almost like a priming base coat. Is that a good way to put it? Not really, but it explains it. Here we go. Now there's a curl through here. Energy in the wave. Energy in the wave. So one thing we're going to have to do here, guys, is... Use big brush strokes. A lot of this painting's gonna be big brush strokes. The reason why is I wanna capture that energy and vibrancy of the wave. I don't want that to sneak by. I want it to be caught. And if we don't use big, strong and expressive brush strokes, we stand to only lose the movement that we could capture. But we're not going to fall into the trap of thinking every, every stroke needs to go on curling with the wave. We're going to add them on haphazardly, any direction they want. Because you know what? Although a wave moves forward and it curls, the water's not going all one direction. It's turbulent. It's flowing. It's fighting with different currents and forces within its own self. What inspires me to paint caviar? Lovely name, Kevia. Um, what inspires me to paint? Honestly, I love it. I love it. I love applying paint to a surface. I think it's really fun. I love the idea that it can be a craft of expression. This is a form of expression, and what I'm doing right now is, is crafting it. And being able to craft expression is the most weird or wild thing to even think could exist at all. And, uh, I mean, yeah, so... That in itself is an alluring thing to me. But then on top of that, on top of that, um, if there's something that you love to do that provides other people with fulfillment, now you've got something really, really special. Um, so it's a combination between me absolutely loving the craft and art in general, and then feeling the fulfillment of others who are touched by the craft. So it's a potent, Double mix, that's how I put it. How old were you when you started? Real young, real young. I need to make a, uh, a history lesson on the entire story, but, but, um, basically, my mother got me into art from a young age. Because she thought, because she noticed that I was good at art. And so she pushed me and pushed me and pushed me to do it. So here I am, applying strokes to a canvas at the age of 30. And loving every second of it. There we go. Grey would not be a conventional colour that you'd use for vibrancy. We're using it. There we go. There's someone else. Paint me like one of your French girls, guys. It's a great saying. If you do want a t-shirt that says paint me like one of your French girls in emoji form, it is available on the shop. The link is in the bio. Me, Victoria, Cheryl, Lucy, MJ, Cobb, and DJ have finally given in to at least one of the phrases that said on the stream, and you can now get a Paint Me Like One of Your French Girls t-shirt. You're welcome, guys.
<laughs> right. Okay, more color. Here we go. So there's more in here. Here we go. Now, just because we're applying paint at the start, we do want to be putting it where we believe it goes. That sounds like an obvious thing to say, but there's this temptation while you're putting paint on canvas to think, oh, I'll just fill that area. I'll oh, just do that. Don't do that. Only do where you know the paint goes because you never know what areas of the first layer are going to be showing in the last layer. Give it all the correct attention. Build it all up correctly. What's the phrase? Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Have you ever had any kind of art schooling? Ooh, a lot. A lot. Um, I've done some private tutoring stuff, and I've done, uh, I've done some art school, and I've done some polytech, and I've done some art courses here and there, and I've done all sorts of stuff, guys. But, but... The most relevant thing, the thing that I look back and had the biggest impact on me when developing, first off, art theory, super important, um, and second off, um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, the peers, your peers, who you surround yourself with. Do you surround yourself with people who love your craft, who love you, who want you to go further, even if none of your friends are artists, but you're an artist. Are you surrounding yourself with friends who actually believe in you? And because uh, that's going to be really potent. Because there's going to be some days, no matter what you do, you're like, I'm a rugby player, I'm a netball player, I'm a jewelry maker, I'm a plumber, an electrician, whatever. Some days it's going to feel like uh, you don't believe in yourself. And that's where your friends come in and they'll believe in you when you may not be able to. So. Let them paint. I am painting. Don't you worry, Troy. I'm slapping paint all over this canvas. We're making fantastic ground here. And I'm almost actually finished with the greys. Now, first layers. I love it. People talk about getting scared away from the first layer. Don't get scared away from the first layer. First layers are awesome. First layers are where dreams happen. I think it's because people don't love the process enough, I know it sounds cheesy, but don't love the process enough so you get caught up and scared at the idea of starting a new painting because you're anticipating what's to come. Sort of like standing outside the gym and being like, ah, I don't want to go inside. Um, if that's what you feel with your canvas, in the same way you'll feel that with, um, who's he talking to? I'm talking to you, um, Emma. Directly to you, Emma, specifically to Emma. Um, but if you feel that way with the canvas, that same anxiety that you get just before going for a run or going to the gym, then uh, if you feel that, then, 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 you may be not, in, you may not be enjoying the process of making the art um, and getting too hung up on the final results return to enjoying the process and then all of a sudden the anxiety around starting the challenge of putting the paint stroke down for the first time on a canvas it'll just start to dissipate in the nicest of ways it's so relieving to get a fresh canvas in front of you and feel energy rather than anxiety um, what's your favorite painting you've ever done honestly my favorite part of the painting is starting it and then when you're in the thick of it, in the middle of it, mid layers, going through stages. I love those two parts of the painting. The, um, the end of a painting's nice as well, but the problem with the end of a painting is that as you near the end, that nears a stage where it's time to go home, where it's time to send the painting on its way, where you don't get to keep it any longer. Um, so the end of a painting sort of like the second or third encore of a band, you still love the song, but you know the concert's over, if that makes sense. So that's probably one of my least favorite stages on a painting. And then if we were talking about the favorite stages, yeah, that would be everything. Everything at the start, everything in the middle. When you're in that dog fight between layers, building up piece on piece on piece. I love that. Um, you fort art. Fort art. I've never painted a fort before. 
I would paint a fort though. In fact, I did paint a fort. We painted a fort for JMS. JMS is a pro, well, it's not a, it's not a technical fort, it's a castle, but uh, we did it. And I'm in love with it. It's a really cool painting. Oh, you will be me. I won't. And I, I'll drink all the time. What a song. If you haven't heard it before, guys, go watch Elephant Love Melody on YouTube. Such a great song. Such a great song. I like the original one. Um, there's a lot of different versions of it. The Glee one's pretty cool. Arguably better, but you know what? I like my first one. We should be lovers. We can't do that. We should be lovers. And that's a fact. Though nothing will keep us together, we could still turn just for one day. We could be heroes forever and ever. All right. Here we go. How am I? I'm doing great. We're now going to use some light turquoise. Wild. Light turquoise, which is quite a close color match to the colors we'd like to get in the wave. So that's fantastic. And then we're also going to grab, where is it hiding? I know it's in there somewhere. Here we go. We're also going to grab a little bit of white. Light turquoise and white team. Um, if I miss anyone's comments as well, guys, I'm very sorry. You're very welcome. If it's a question about art or anything like that, you can reach out to me on Instagram or email. It's all there in the bio. There's one commission slot available for late next month. Otherwise, the month after, there's plenty of room. Fill out the form in the bio all via the little link there, which is fun. Now, I love these packets, it's like a little sauce packet. A sauce packet for paint, how wild is that? How wild! Here we go, just like this. Guys, I think it's really important that, uh, I know I come on here a lot and I yarn about a lot of different things, and I repeat myself quite often for two reasons. First off, it's a good point. And the second thing is I forget that I said it. By the way, if you're a subscriber, you get to join a secret Discord. This is true, Victoria. This is true. Um, so fresh change. There's now a Discord channel for subscribers. Um, on the Discord channel, there's only one post there at the moment because it's brand fresh and new. Um, I'm going to... I do a lot of thinking guys. I stay up late a lot of time. I'm messaging a lot of people, but I'm always coming up with new ideas and looking at new paintings and getting inspiration from a multitude of different areas. Now, I've been crying out desperately for a place to share it. And I feel like for the subscribers and the people who are a part of this journey that we're going on, um, that's a really cool place to do it. So that's awesome. So, if you want to subscribe, or you're already a subscriber, you've got access to the Discord channel, leap on there, and um, the other cool thing about that is if I'm not live, I'll still be able to leap on the Discord channel, if I'm on the bus somewhere, if I'm on a flight, um, yeah, just a cool little thing. Anyway, right, this, voila, gloss medium. Huge fan of gloss medium. Why do I like gloss medium? Because it thickens up the paint. It allows it to go further, further. It makes it run nicer. It's all the things that we want it to do. We're gonna use this. Our brush has got gray on it. It doesn't matter. Mix into the turquoise, just like that. And here we go. Now, let's have a look-see here. Bada bing bum boom. This is gonna be fun. Here we go. 
Here we go, here we go. Here we go, just up through here. Now, remember, because it's a wave, because it's a powerful wave, we're adding in a lot of energy into the brush strokes. Speed, expression, and the way we build it are gonna be fundamental to making sure this actually feels like a curling wave. Like it's got that energy and vibrancy in it, but it's actually crashing as we look at the painting. Not in a realism feeling. It won't look like a real wave. If you want a real looking wave, that's what the camera's for. This wave here though, it's going to have the feeling of a real wave. Sometimes when you look at a camera, a picture on a camera, you see a wave, and it's the best possible way you could have seen a wave. But sometimes when you see a painting done correctly, done with energy, vigor, expression, you don't just see the wave, but you can feel it. You can imagine the movement. Uh, Dare say it, if you've been on waves, taste the salt. Um, you can feel the momentum. There's so much more to a wave than just what it visually looks like. There's the noise it makes, this, not this rumbling, but this deeper. Um, uh, there's just this, there's this, how do I explain it? There's this awareness of something far greater, larger than you, that you're not gonna harness and control not like, a, not like horse riding as such, but you're going to ride. You're going to be a surfer on a wave in your own world with no control over the wave, but existing on top of it. Must be hugely satisfying. Hugely. Paint you next. If you want to be painted next, then that's fantastic. This is a man named Steve. Steve is an absolute champion. I've been looking forward to this painting for so long. Why? If you show me a picture and it's full of movement and expression and, oh my God, a barreling wave, this is the epitome of vibrancy and movement. So, very excited about this one. If you'd like your own picture done, link's in the bio. This is gonna come out great. The last suit, oh, thanks, Pink. You're an absolute champion, I appreciate that. We've done three surf paintings now. Three surf paintings. This is the third. The first one was actually done on Reddit, I think. That is the OG. That is the original. That's where the hammer met the anvil. It wasn't actually in the surf, it was on the beach, but they were carrying surfboards. So that was all part of the fun. Um, let's have a look-see here, 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 here. We're gonna move into a bit more white. Look at that. Messy, messy paint palette. There we go. So it's not even baby blue anymore. It's like a white, creamish color with a little bit of blue sneaking in there. And that's what we're after. That's what we want. Now, here we go. A little bit in there. One other thing too, guys, is if I stand here in front of the canvas, and this is different for all crafts, but in this craft, when we're trying to add expression to the bus strokes, if I stand here like this, like this, and just paint like this, What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? The picture's gonna have no energy in it. It's gonna look like chicken scratches. You're gonna look at the picture and it's gonna induce more anxiety at the effort and these tiny little scratches that made the picture than you are gonna actually enjoy what the picture's trying to show you. So when you are painting or you're doing your craft and you feel like you've entered this little like plateau of laziness or lethargicness, what you need is movement. So move around the canvas. You're using your arm, your whole arm. Don't just work from your wrist, work from your elbow, work from your shoulder as you go over the canvas. It's weird, but you are quite literally dancing with it. And that, you'd be like, I don't know if he's right about that. Well. For me, it's how I get my best results. I can look at a work and go, actually, mm, there's no energy in that. When you made that, you didn't have energy. You were lethargic. And you know what? You can tell. You can tell. 
Um, one thing I might do one day too, guys, is we might get two art pictures beside each other, side by side. <clears throat> Both my works. I'll do one from a standing neutral position, like this. Um, and then I'll do one with lots of energy. And I'll do close-ups and far-offs, and you'll be able to tell me, you'll be able to see it. You'll be like, ah, now I see what that crazy Kiwi's on about. Yes, yeah, I want the energetic one. There we go, beautiful. Perfectos. Just now, although we've got a character here, we've got to make sure we don't see a character. We've got to make sure that we see the actual colours, tones, and shapes that make up our character. Oh, oh, that was a good stroke there, guys. I'm going to flesh that one out just a little bit more. That one stops around here. There we go, just like that. Down here, making the board. <clears throat> Now, when you are painting, guys, try to make sure, well, for me, you see how I crouch down a lot? The artwork's in the right place. You see that? Any higher than that, I'm not going to be able to reach it. That's the 45. That's the highest I can go. Sides are fine, but down the bottom here, you see if I try and reach that, <clears throat> it's not a comfortable position. I've got to get down lower to make sure I can use my whole arm. Otherwise, at the bottom, makes a weird little, like, chinky chicken scratchy thing. So... I've got to make sure I keep moving around. Can I teach you? You'd love to do private lessons. Um, I used to. I used to. Currently, I've stopped because I've been snowed under with commissions. But I was hoping we might get the availability to do some fun stuff around late March, April. If you are interested, though, you can get in touch and we can see. But remember guys, remember, you have got the ability to leap on here. I try and get out here as much as I can. And although I make the feedback quite generic, you have the ability to, 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 um, get art tips for free here, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of that because I don't want to gatekeep art. I think everyone should be allowed to get art in their lives. There we go. Um, if you have sent me a message on Instagram, I haven't got back to you yet, I'm super sorry. I am speeding up piece by piece. Um, who's that guy in the photo above your painting? Ah, that's uh, Steve. That's the man we're painting on the way. So I'll put that painting up, that photo up there. First off to help a little bit, but second off too, because I actually want Steve to be uh, Steve's the inspiration for the pick. Since Steve is the inspiration for the pick, I want to make sure that there's pictures of Steve around when I paint it. So when I'm looking at the picture and imagining how Steve would have felt on the wave and what he was thinking, I can actually look at that picture of him and go, that's Steve's energy. That's the way Steve does stuff. That's, and there's also another picture over here of him. It's a little bit more blurry, but that's a great picture to show off Steve's personality. And so, really making sure we embody that in this picture. There we go, beautiful. Like I say guys, we're letting a few strokes go around the edge, but I wanna keep that raw canvas popping. I wanna keep that raw canvas. There we go. Keep going with the white, a lot of white under here. There we go. Gloss gel in here too. Fantastic. And then we're going to sneak around here. Beautiful. Now we're talking. Now how we're talking. Now even though you see me adding on these strokes in a wild fashion, guys, I'm not letting the texture build up. This is a color exercise. This is not a texture exercise. If I let the texture get too big, I limit my options to add detail, more detail later on. So keep that texture flat. At least for now. When you add lots of texture, it's called impasto technique. And we're gonna do some impasto technique. You best believe it. But not early in the piece. Early in the piece, we focus heavily 
on where's Kelly going and building up those layers building up the layers Alex thank you so much I appreciate every flower you absolute champion here we go and then I'm gonna sneak in here there we go just like that up and over and more in here now we're talking perfect not done yet, a little bit on the hand, a little bit coming up over this wave, perfect, and a little bit coming up around here, now we're talking, just like that, a little, a little bit thick on the paint there, that's alright, sorted, sorted, fantastic, now, who can see Steve on a surfboard at this stage, as this continues, Steve's haircut is going to be flowing. We're going to make sure that actually you see this wild sandy haired man with his hair cascading in all directions, slamming this wave and just really enjoying life. That's what we want to grab. That's what we need to grab. What we want to get guys, I talk about the ultimate goal of the painting. In this painting, I want to capture a zest for life. <clears throat> So for Steve, Steve's a surfer. Surfing is such a pure sport. Steve is a great guy. And what we're gonna do is in this wave, with this energy, in this movement, we're gonna capture a person on the wave who just wants nothing more but to actually just enjoy every moment of life. And in this case, through surfing. How fun's that? Big fan. How have you not heard of me before? I don't know. You're here now. That's a good place to be. That's a good place to be. Um, guys, crack up. There's a couple of fantastic people here. There's some people in this room. Not this room, but this digital room. There's Cheryl, Victoria, T, um, Cobb, and DJ. Some amazing moderators who look after the stream. Um, now, we... They do all an incredible job, but, 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 we've noticed a few quotes that pop up over and over again, and we grabbed a hold of one of the quotes, which was, paint me like one of your French girls. We put on a t-shirt. So if you'd like to get one of those t-shirts, it's on the link in the bio. Um, if you want something more than a t-shirt, like you're painting, I was saying earlier, there's one spot available next month. Otherwise, you are in two April. Which is fine. It's all good. Let's talk in April. But get in touch whenever. We can work out a plan and go from there. Otherwise, just grab the Instagram and do your thing. Or don't. You can just hang out this one time. It's totally cool. You're your own person. You do whatever you want to do. Here we go. Sneak down through here. Perfect. Okay, this is now a combination of our turquoise, our light turquoise, and our white. So it's not perfect white, a little bit sliced, and that's good, that's what we want. So we want, just so it's not perfect white all over the canvas, so it splashes into these different colours. <clears throat> that's a good question. So the biggest one I'll work with is this one here. This is the thickest, right there. It's about, what's that? It's a three inch brush, it says it right there. Pow. And yeah, apart from that, then this one's the next one. PG quotes, if you want to see his merch list. <laughs> yeah, thanks Victoria. Absolutely. The other thing too guys, that's really important. If you're doing long painting sessions and you're on your feet, whatever your craft is, remember to drink water. There's some people out there who are like, oh my God, drink water. Like, yeah, really, really good advice. In fact, in fact, I'm going to start right now. Anyway, follow my own advice. Water's good for you guys. Mmm. <clears throat> bit more. That's good. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Now, we're still on our, yeah, we're still working on this. 
It's like a baby blue colour, guys. It's a very cool colour. Let's make an ambient round here. There we go. Here we go. Old Steve barreling away, eh? What an absolute champion. Steve's going to be visiting New Zealand as well in the near future. When I say near future, I mean later this year. So it's going to be pretty exciting. He'll either be, he'll come and be like, oh my god, your painting changed my life. I love it so much. Or he'll come back and be like, yo, here's your painting. I don't like it. I want a refund. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Here we go. But I'm actually really, really enjoying this one. The uh, trick is going to be to keep, because this painting here is not a low energy painting, the whole thing. The trick is going to be for this one, if it wants to pop, I've got to keep the energy high the entire way through it. I don't get the opportunity to relax and to unwind on any area of this painting. Why? There's a man contorted with energy, surfing a wave. There's a surfboard cutting through the water and then the rest of it is literally crashing moving water. There's no chill in any part of this painting. David. Oh, thanks David. Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> I've got to actually get a body of work up first. Now, I do have some work, but I'm keeping it close to my chest, guys, because... Um, I'm on my last four pieces, and so I like to keep them in my studio. If you'd like to see them, you can reach out, and maybe I'll part with a few, especially if the uh, last slot next month doesn't get taken, because then I'll have an opportunity to paint something and add it to the repertoire on the walls. But, yeah. It was a joke. Sorry, next. I don't know what the joke was. I missed it. What medium do I work with? What, like a psychic medium? I think I read the uh, Woman's Day Star Signs. No, um, I work with um, 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 acrylic. Acrylic's my go-to. I really like acrylic paints. They dry really fast. For example, the blacks and the uh, blues on this painting are already dry, and so are the greys, mostly dry. And so I can already go over the top of them with another coat and start really enjoying building up these layers. Whereas with oils, it would quickly reach a stage where you'd actually have to stop and wait for it to dry. And oils do not dry fast. They take a long time to dry. So you can shoot yourself in the foot a little bit with oils because, um, but obviously oils have this vibrant color to them. Now you can get that with acrylics but you need to understand them quite intimately. You need to understand what makes acrylics pop, how you're gonna make your acrylics pop, because there's a process to these things. Here we go. So I add a low gloss medium. I add that primal medium you saw. These all help. It's a matter of time before I go back there. Matter of time before I go home. Um, blue shutters and old porch so I can paint all day. Alright. That sounds good. That sounds good. There we go. Just slap it on here. Now, I see a comment there saying he knows what he's doing. Guys, it's really, really important when it comes to process. If you know what you're doing, you're probably, at that stage, the most lost. I know how backwards that sounds, but uh, it's good to have a plan, a blueprint, a direction that you're going in, but you don't have to follow it. Let things change, let things go crazy. I didn't know we were gonna go into turquoise straight after the black, we've ended up here. Here we are. Lucy, long time no see. Lucy, I hope you're looking after yourself. We've missed you here, Lucy. Lucy is in and she's out. Did you get too famous for us, Lucy? <laughs> Sometimes I wake up in the morning and Lucy's got a fresh story out, but I think it's like a four hour difference. So like, I've spent the night 
cuddled up in my bed, sleeping. And then while I'm waking up about to have my coffee, I see this story from Lucy. She's out having a fantastic time. And I'm like, all right, different lives. Um, oh, I've missed you guys so much. I have, to get go I have a lot going on, but I'm back. <laughs> That's all good, Lucy. You do you. I was saying sorry to uh, Cheryl and Victoria the other day as well, because I was disappearing for days on end, heading down to Queenstown with Shelby and doing all sorts of stuff. But now I'm back and painting. Loving it. I've got a lot of paintings to do this month, and I cannot wait. This is very exciting. And this one's coming together in all the ways that I actually wanted it to. This is lots of fun energy. It's got a long way to go, guys. Definitely got a long way to go, but it's in the exact place we want it to be in at this point. Oh, misty eye, mountain blow. Keep careful watch oh my brother's soul And if the sky be fills with fire and smoke Keep watching over Juran's sun And if the night is burning out over my eyes And the dun 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 thy brothers will Sorry for the singing, guys. Just get myself in the mood. Here we go. Beautiful. Your way to beautiful girls. Why it'll never work, you give me. Do da da. Do da da. Do do da da. Alright, we're in a good place. Up here, a bit more energy. I need to grab some. Cerulean Blue. I love this blue, guys. Cerulean Blue has a real kick to it. Now, in this picture here, even though with the wave, we want to combine a lot of different shades into the wave. We want to combine blues of different shades. We want to combine magentas. We want to combine greens. At the moment, we've just done blues, but ho oh, oh, you wait. They're coming, guys. They are coming. Eh? Now let's have a look see here. Perfecto. Perfecto. Just like that. This is going to creep in through here. Through here. All the way up here. There we go. Fantastic. Your way to beautiful girl. That's why it'll never work. There we go. Just sneaking around here. Fantastic. A little bit more. That's good. And a little bit more through here. Almost there, guys. Just looking up in this top corner for a little bit. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'll just get this up in there. There we go. Just like that. Keeping the texture just thin enough at the same time. That's what we want. That's brilliant. Now we're talking to it. Now we're making butter. Is it the same? It is now. Here we go. Just a little bit in here. Where else can we see the cerulean blue? Oh, that's definitely creeping up through here. Definitely. Um. Uh, sings like an old man. Yeah, suppose I do. <laughs> Sing like an old man. Poor me. Poor me. It's the first time I've heard that. I don't know if... Do I like that? I don't know. <laughs> here we go. Sneaking this up through here. Sneaking this up through here. Here we go. Guys, pretty exciting thing too. If you're just joining in here, there is now a Discord channel for subscribers, if you like Discord. 
you can catch us there. It's pretty fresh right now, but there's gonna be a bunch of posts going up in there, updates and stuff. You'll get to know things well before everyone else does. And you'll get a chance to actually comment on stuff and give out ideas. Um, he asked funny, I can't breathe. All right, take four deep breaths. Breathing is really good for you. I'm sorry that I made you stop doing it. It's really important you do it. Um, do I surf? I've been surfing three times. My partner surfs, she's a great surfer. But myself, uh, no. I like the feeling on a surfboard, guys. I like the way it arches your back up so you can really uh, stretch your neck out because I've got a long neck. Um, so I'm a big fan of surfing for a couple of reasons like that. But uh, talent on a surfboard, uh-uh, not today. Hey, maybe I do, maybe one day. Maybe one day. I'll be out there curving up some barrels and slapping Nars. And with that, getting pitted. Shall we talk with these terms, guys? <laughs> um, he ain't Aussie, he is a Kiwi. I am a Kiwi. I'm a Kiwi, but I can tell how I would come across as Aussie. I do select a lot of Aussie songs for the reels. Maybe I'm just secretly fantasizing about being an Aussie, who knows? So that song, what's it gonna be, pretty darling? Riding on a horse song, yeah, yeah. Look up to the skies, my darling. Do da 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 Here we go, but through here. Now we're talking just like that. Um, if I do miss your comments, guys, wasn't intentional. I can only try and get so many of them. Masses want to hear you say no. No. <laughs> um, why no? I. Hmm. All right. No, 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 no. Um, the Michael Bublé song. I do like that song, uh, Haven't Met You Yet. Big fan of that one. I, I belt that out in the car. That's like on my playlist on Spotify. I don't sing it well, but man, I make up for it with enthusiasm. Might have to wait, never give up. Guess it's half timing and the other half's luck. Wherever you are, whenever it's right, you'll come out of nowhere and into my life. Um, other thing too, guys, you will find everything that you need in the bio. There's one link there. I know it looks lonely, but that one link goes in all directions. Say, oh no, Cleo. I mean, I don't even know what that means. I hope Cleo's not offended by me saying I oh, know Cleo. Might have to wait and never give up. I guess it's half timing and the other half's luck. Wherever you are, whenever it's right, you'll come out of nowhere and into my life. And know that we can be so amazing. And baby, your love is gonna change me. And now I can see every possibility. Mm -hmm. And somehow I know we can work things out. I think that's a lyric. I forget. I forget. Right. Great place. Great place. We are doing good. But I need, and all I need is a rhythm goodbye. La, dun, 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 dun. What's that song called? Who knows what that one is? I missed that comment there, Victoria, but it looked like a goodie. Um, the reference photo, I did a really clever thing. I'm really proud of myself. I was like, I thought um, there was a, 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 um, I posted a story of me talking about the reference photo. I'm like, that's clever. So if anyone wants to see it, it's in the story. Um, 
And I'll start doing that from now on. So before I go live, I'll do a little post where I'll say, here's the picture, here's what we're planning on doing, here's the colors we're gonna attack with, blah, 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 blah. And that way, if you do miss the whole live, then you can see that and then you can catch the uh, time lapse on Instagram. So, plans. Anyway, there we go. Haven't met you yet. No, 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 the other one. All I need is the rhythm goodbye. La, dun, da, dun, dun, your heart will be mine. That's an uh, Inglacius song. What is that song? Um, because I'm definitely, 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 definitely going to use that one for the next reel. That's a banger. Josh Turney. Josh Turney. Is that the guy who sings that song, Time is Love? Because I love that song. I love it. You know, time is love. Gotta run, love to hang along, but then I got someone who waits, waits for me. Right now she's where I need to be. Um, what color is that? Oh, pink, don't get too excited. But do, because it's magenta. We're moving on to magenta now, guys. And you'll be like, it's a wave. Where's the magenta at? Well, if I just do it in different shades of blue, we stand to lose all the, uh, all the vibrancy and power and energy of the wave. We don't want to do that. I want to capture the wave in its truest, most wholesome form. Now let's have a look see here. Just going to line this up. There we go. Just like that. And all I need is a rhythm goodbye. Lost in your heart, and your heart will be mine. Brother D. Is that? Uh, sing some K pop. <laughs> um, I need to actually figure out what that song's called because that's a banger of a song. Um, here we go. Just like that. Now, we're spotting magentas. How are we going to spot magentas? We're going to swap the picture to black and white. So then we're going to start noticing huge, excuse me, huge rather than uh, uh, no, sorry, spot tones rather than hues. So we won't get distracted by what's actually blue, green, whatever. We're just going to match the magenta with everywhere that looks like a slight medium gray. There we go. Wow, wow, wow. There we go. Um, folding back the edges. We're not painting the whole scene. We're just focusing on the wave so we can capture as much as Steve as humanly possible. There we go. Well, we could zoom in more, but we want that context of the wave. Then, when did this turn into a karaoke night? Well. Let me answer that question with another question. When was it not a karaoke night? Um, let me have a look-see here. Here we go. More of this uh, gloss gel. This is important stuff. I can go down there. I'm mixing it in here. And all I need is the rhythm goodbye. Lost in the head and your heart will be mine. There we go. Beautiful. We're mixing this magenta in with a lot of gloss gel. That's going to make it slightly transparent too, guys. This is going to be what adds a lot of the uh, pop to the picture. This is going to add the pop. Why the plate instead of an art palette? Well, first off, Broadway, let me just say that there's a lot of standard practices. People use art palettes. Some people don't. For me, I recommend that you do you. Whatever that means for you, you do you. But when it comes to what I like to do, I think porcelain beats any art palette. I haven't seen an art palette before that's made from porcelain. They're always wood. Well, if you put a lot of uh, liquid onto the wood, what happens is it actually soaks it in. And so your paint changes. The porcelain doesn't soak in any paint. And so you're actually better, your paint stays better, I find, on porcelain rather than those uh, 
regular wood pellets. And then on top of that, abundance of plates. You can get plates from an op shop. You can get plates from anywhere you like. You can get a plate that fits in your hand nicely. You can get a plate that's weighted well for your hand. You can use a dinner plate. You can use a plate from anywhere. Um, <laughs> Lucy, <clears throat> I've been doing great on Twitter. I've been doing lots of very wholesome posts, saying really wholesome things, and wait, why wasn't Twitter a good idea? I've been enjoying Twitter. Twitter's fun. I like, I'm lying there late at night in bed and like an idea will pop through my head about paint or love or art or the way we should view art or a craft and I can just share it immediately with the world. I reckon that's pretty cool. I reckon that's pretty cool. And all I need is the rhythm goodbye. Lost in the music, your heart will be mine. There we go. Sneaking us down in here. Fantastic. And a little bit more around here. We're just going to pop this up just a little bit. Here we go. Just like that. So I want to get right around this edge. Just like that. Now we're talking. Now we're ducking. Ducking that people. There we go. A little bit coming up here. Remember, I'm not adding on the textures too thick. We're just building colors and we're having fun with it. That's the important part right now. If the textures get too thick, we'll not have the ability to change it. It'll control the image. Seb, do you plan to have an exhibition for your art? Um, I'd need to actually get some art together. A lot of this stuff is uh, commission based and so it doesn't stay in the studio that long. I've got about four art pieces but I want to keep them all. So it would be a pretty lousy exhibition because you'd come along to it and I'd be like, okay, here's the artwork, but I don't want to sell any of it. I need these four. <laughs> um, and plus, I feel like everyone's from all over the world. The best place for you to see the art is actually right here on the stream, doing it all together. Jay, I think you can guess that. My favorite artist, without a doubt, is Van Gogh. I think Van Gogh is amazing in all the ways. I love what he was doing. I love his use of color. I love his use of expression. I think uh, he was able to add, he was able to create a moment that we could all get a little bit from. And I think that's really special. Don't look at Starry Starry Night, like it's gonna be like a Mozart composed song that'll create euphoria in a way you've never felt it before. Think about the fact that you've seen it hundreds of times and the fact that millions of people have seen it and have all got a little bit of happiness out of it. Now we're talking. What time, what, what was the click for you when you started painting? What was the click for me? Um, look, I've always loved paint. Always loved paint. I think, I think there's no big click moment. I think the guy who tells the best about painting is actually Steve Jobs. And there'd be a few people in the stream right now who've been like, what? Um, Steve Jobs, he talks about dreams. And he says, dreams don't often come to you in like a big whack, here's what you should do. Do it right now. This is the dream. Focus on it. Only do this. That's not how dreams come. They're not that intense. Dreams are whispers. They never shout. They just whisper in the background. And so as you go through your life, there's this constant whisper of what your dreams are and what they should be. And it's so important as you go through your life and your day and with whatever you're doing, that you listen really carefully for that whisper. Um, yeah. Do you only paint with acrylic? I used to paint with everything. In fact, in fact, I think a lot of these streams are actually, um, a lot of the work on the streams have been done in the oils. The most recent painting that was done with some oils was the two horse painting. Some of the base coat of that is done with oil. But uh, I've been moving more and more into acrylic and I've actually expanded the acrylic range to include a lot more compounds to mix in with the acrylics. 
So we can now do more with the acrylics than we can with the wheels. So big fan of that. Um, I can keep these acrylics looking wet, looking uh, vibrant and full of energy. Whereas if you just use raw acrylic, it won't have the same intensity as oils. So you need to understand acrylics quite intimately to be able to manipulate it to be what you want it to be. Hope that helps. Quick, someone put a cowboy hat filter on. <laughs> Cheers, Victoria, you absolute champion. Um, you need to come to nighttime lives. <laughs> Cheers, Lucy. Um, hopefully, we might be able to come back for a nighttime live today. Um, we will see how things go. We will see how things go. No promises, but it's possible. It's possible. All I need is the rhythm goodbye. Lost in your music, your heart will be mine. All right, there's our brush. We're going to wipe it off a little bit. What are we going to do with this one next? What are we going to do next? Uh, probably, probably grab a dark colour but not black and represent some of the black areas. So what do you add to your acrylic paint? That's a great question and since I'm just playing with this brush at the moment, I will take the chance to show you. Right, here we have it. I've got a whole collection here. Almost got them. Do, 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 do. Right. Now there's no shortage of things you can add to your paint. There's a whole bunch. So, I love this stuff. Bear with me. I'm gonna go through these five rapidly, about 10 seconds on each, and then after I've done that, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, come back, grab a smaller brush, and start adding on some detail and probably some dark maroon. That's the plan. If you're not on board with that, I'm so sorry. Right, first one. <clears throat> uh, super matte heavy gel. This thickens the paint out. Super matte heavy gel is gonna make the paint thicker, but it's not gonna add shine. So it's gonna add like a matty, uh, dry kind of effect to the paint. The reason why you wanna do that is it's gonna contrast with your gloss super heavy gel. So I want areas to pop, some areas not to, some areas to look dry, some areas to look wet, but all of them want to look thick. These are my two gels to do that. We haven't used them so far this session. Why? Because we're trying to lower down the texture. This one here, I don't often use this, but it's here just in case. It's crackle paste. You want gloss, you want matte, but sometimes you want super, super, super dry. Cracks do it. That's what you're after for that. This is a great thing. I love this. This is primal. What's this? This is a liquid which is basically like diluted PVA glue. The reason why you want this stuff and it dries completely clear is you add it to the paint to make it run better. This stuff here will turn acrylics into like diluted oils, which sometimes is exactly what you need. Very handy stuff. Also, this can be used as a finishing coat or an in-between coat. This will add zero texture. It'll only change the quality of the paint. Next one, gloss medium. I use this one the most. This is like a jack of all trades. It goes between all of them. This is like your potatoes on a meal. You can put it basically with any meal. Huge fan of this. It makes the paint look shiny. This stuff here in the right dosage will make your acrylic paints look like oil paints. And they'll dry almost immediately. So you can go through layer after layer after layer. Would you consider doing a 60 minute blitz for Steve's painting? Haven't done one in a while. This is true. I've got two 60 minute blitzes on the way. But I, was, I mean, I almost wanted to start one today. But I held off because I wanted to do a layer on this so bad, so badly. Um, who's Steve, is this, this is Steve here though. Are we talking about Steve's painting, this painting? Which painting? Did I miss you finishing Spyro? No, Lucy, Spyro's in the Todonga studio, at the Corona studio. So we will be coming back to it. But hold fire for just a moment. We're gonna continue on the plan. I showed you my compounds. I'm now gonna to go to the bathroom. I'll come back, have some water, grab a small brush, and go from there.
Love you guys. Give me like 40 seconds. Hi. <clears throat> Sorry for bailing you guys, I'm back now. Let's just spread out. Before I swap brushes, I'm just going to spread out some of these areas which have probably gone on a little bit thicker. Like I was saying, thick texture stops us from being able to pursue it in the way we want to. There we go. There we go. Stop that, carry on. Any more around here? There's a little bit down here. Take that, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just thought you know that you're my favorite girl. There we go. Fantastic, we're good to go. Um, will the gloss you talked about make the dust stay off the art better? Ah, uh, yeah, a little bit. So, always make sure when you finish a piece, you add a coating layer. Um, whether it be the primal gloss, any kind of gloss, uh, well not any kind, read on the back it will tell you. Um, I use this stuff, if you put this stuff on it, but like I say, this is a preventative protective layer, this primal thing, it's non-yellowing. And so what's really cool about that is that means that you can get the painting and basically throw water, tomato sauce, whatever you want at the surface of it, and it's not going to ruin it. Perfect. That's what we want. Because we don't want to be ruining paintings. Right, we're going back to our, go back to Virginia. We're going back to our darker palette to capture some of the dark areas. Read the comments with letters being white on the wall and door white. Oh, interesting, interesting. Well, I think we need to figure out, someone needs to talk to uh, TikTok and tell them that we can tell them to change the color of the text because the problem is with a studio, studios are usually white. The reason studios are usually white is they handle the um, blah, 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 the color bounces around better in the studio. I suppose you can work in a dark studio, but I sort of like white, it's more uplifting. Um, need a water break, guys. Have some water if you need a water break. Here we go. There we are. Now, go back, go back to Virginia, Tennessee. Right, there we go. I think this black isn't quite going to cut the mustard for me. We have to swap off that colour. Do I have a bit? Yes, here we go. We're going to go for deep magenta. Which is going to make pink super excited. Super. Um, what's your biggest inspiration? <clears throat> My biggest inspiration. I think, uh, I think in life, I think we've all got, I think we talk about the one big inspiration. I think there's a bunch of inspirations that you're allowed to have. Um, 
But rather than saying inspiration, I think a better term for it is to say, what's your why? And no, we don't sketch out anything beforehand. So completely rough, we go with the flow, we make mistakes, that's part of the beauty of it. If you want a perfect picture, there's AI, there's photos. I'm a human, I'm gonna lean into the mistakes that I make. I love that. Now, um, inspiration is quite a cryptic word. I like the term, what, yeah, I like saying what's your why, and there can be multiple things which are your why. So in this case here, one of the, uh, when we talk about whys, why? One of them is I love painting. Why? One of them is I love seeing other people happy. Painting allows that. Why? One is I want to be able to do something I love and support a family. Why? I want to be able to uh, see the world. I want to be able to put a roof over my head and food on the table. I want to be able to look after my family. I want to be able to make my parents proud. I want to be able to make my kids proud that their father was pursuing something he loved. Like, you can have multiple whys that build you in the way you want to be built. Um, so there's not one compelling reason. I think there's, there's several. And I think we've all got several. But really, really important, guys, if you get the opportunity to sit down late at night or in the morning or whenever and have a think or just begin to think about what the why might be or what the whys could be, not one big one, but several little ones. You can start to use those and start to figure out what you want from life and how you're gonna get it. Mark, you're so diplomatic by how you would... <laughs> Thanks, Mark, appreciate you. Um, so, it's, uh, yeah, figuring out what your why is, is the key. Um, Victoria, pray for me. I'm praying for you, Lucy. I'm praying for you. Here we go. Now, this maroon color is exactly what we needed. I'm gonna apply it, but not too thick. Let it build out, see where it goes. Here we go, just like that. Perfect, perfect. Now we're talking, I don't. But that doesn't mean you don't have to, uh, it can't be one of your wise guys. I don't have kids, but having the goal of thinking, right, if kids do show up on the spot, oh, completely dropped my brush. Um, if kids do show up on the spot, what am I gonna do now to work towards that sort of position? Um, it's all part of the same journey. It's all part of the same journey. You're like, okay, I'm gonna become the man that I should be the moment I have kids. It's like, no, 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 no. You need to become that man right now so that you can be worthy of the kids before they even arrive. Do that. Is it a plate? It is a plate. It is indeed. And I'm proud of my plate. My plate's everything I want it to be. Go back. Go back to Virginia, Tennessee. Dun, 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 dun. Um, how do you go? How how to go? How to go? You get your work out there, Ava. Hello, Ava. Welcome to the stream. How to get your work out there? It's different for everyone. There's some amazing books that will tell you different tricks and tips for artists, especially aspiring artists. Um, a lot of the time, we wonder about, I don't know, maybe you're wondering about uh, meditation, yoga, sport, history. When we wonder about these things, what do we do? We grab a book and we read it. And as artists, it's funny, we always wonder about how to get our work out there. How many artists have picked up a book that is called How to Get Your Artwork Out There and read it cover to cover? Very few of us. In fact, I read, I'll be confident in saying probably, probably less than 1%. So best thing you can do, jump on Audible. Jump on Audible and buy the first three books 
on actually how to be a productive artist or how to paint or how to get your art out there because that's a really good place to start. There's some amazing people who say some amazing things um, and want to give you that information. So go grab some of their books because you don't have to re reinvent the wheel. Some people are already doing great stuff. I love Audible. Yes, Lucy. Yes. That's fantastic. Here we go. And now we're just adding in this color everywhere we see it, bit by bit. Here we go. Perfect. I love these colors. Thank you, Pink, you absolute champion. Um, oh, heck nah, I don't like reading about art. I mean, that's all good. At the end of the day, you don't have to read about, a, you, you think about the art as like a business book. Those books are gonna help you and tell you how to figure out yourself, how to figure out your inspiration, how to figure out your why, how to develop your craft in a way that actually suit, like develops you as a person. This stuff's so important, guys. Hello, Barbara, welcome back. Um, I think there's this, I think there's this belief that actually there's gonna be a spiritual awakening that we're gonna figure out exactly how we're gonna make our art and that it couldn't possibly come slowly and softly from a book. The truth is there's some really good answers in books because there's people who've gone through the process and been artists who've struggled to even buy bread and been artists who haven't had homes and have needed support and things like this and then become super famous and they've wanted to share their journey to help others do it and others not go through the pain that they went through. I think we sort of owe it to those artists to read the book. <laughs> um, uh, paint more Mona Lisa in this painting style. Sarah, paint more Mona Lisas. I suppose we could paint a Mona Lisa. We could paint a Mona Lisa. There's lots of paintings of Mona Lisa out there though. I mean, there's an opportunity to, to do some really fun stuff. I suppose we could just, we could depict another Mona Lisa, but think of all the other things that are out there. Characters, families, people, waves. All the things, all the things, guys. Oh, Omari, it's good to have you here, Omari. What a pleasure. Hey guys, also, I haven't said it in a while, Commissions, there's one spot available for next month. Otherwise, everything you need is in the link in the bio. You can get commissions from there. You can grab um, apparel. You can grab all sorts of things. So, very wholesome and fun. Go back, go back to Virginia, Tennessee. Dun 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 um, The style of painting on this work here is actually fairly similar to a recent work that went to tea. This style is very similar to Rossi. Just in the way the paint strokes are forming, for some reason there's a similarity between these paint strokes the, these, the similarity between the actual uh, um, style of this wave and Rossi's um, fur, which is something I did not expect. Just in the way it falls. It's interesting, it's fun. There we go, perfect, Doss. All right, we're gonna brighten this up a bit. 
I'm sick, bless me y'all. Um, you're blessed, look after yourself. It's the LD, Rossi, Bob Rossi, no. A dog, a dog called Rossi. Fantastic little picture of a dog that we worked on together as a group. We made for tea. And the coolest thing is the painting is still in New Zealand. I love paintings that stay in New Zealand. Most of the paintings head to places like the States, but sometimes it's really fun to uh, be able to um, keep the paintings nearby. Just because it increases the likelihood that you'll see them again. Go back, go back to Virginia and Tennessee. Gotta go, see you, Omari. Goodbye, yeah. Every day I look across the office floor, there you are. There we go. Xavier. <laughs> dum to dum. Lucy, question for you. Have you been painting recently? Because, it'd be cool if you have. Xavier, I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> Tell you what, Xavier, you seem polite. I'll give you that. I don't know what you did to have to apologize, but you seem polite. Um, I'm free to can be my Diego. Me not follow. Me not follow. Honestly, I didn't realize I had to know so many languages to be on TikTok. On Frida, mi Diego. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Beautiful. Go back, go back to Virginia and Tennessee. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, just a little bit's gonna come up in here. There we go. Perfect, Doss. Do you usually sketch out the painting first? I have not seen you begin one yet. Um, well, you can find a few of the replays up on YouTube. Um, also, link in the bio for that. Also, this one here, no. So we just start. Now, I made a comment on uh, Twitter, which was saying that in a world of AI art, and please realize guys, AI art is gonna have as much of an impact on painting as uh, photography had well back hundreds of years ago. So when it comes to thinking about uh, AI art, it's really important that painting does become a process which is more uh, embellished with expression, beautiful process and mistakes. So when we talk like that, when it comes to making a blueprint and measuring everything out, when we're doing realism art, people are already projecting the image onto the actual canvas and then painting by numbers the actual lines of it and making it out like that, completely removing as much expressionism as possible from the work. We need to return to that. We need to get rid of the, uh, the realism and perfection, which now actually robots can do so efficiently and instantaneously. And we need to move more into expressionism, embracing the little mistakes, the areas we exaggerate and the areas we don't notice, the colors we want to add and the colors we miss. Because no matter what, a robot can't replicate a human going through that process. It can create a result that looks like the human's result, but it can't make the mistakes, it can't struggle and it can't go on the journey. And so it's really important that that becomes the most important part about the painting. Um, the result itself is like the flag on the moon. It's the, uh, it's the notion of a journey. It's the evidence that a journey occurred. It's the, it's the, it's the result that shows a culmination of experiences and moments and little brushstrokes that have built up into this. 
If all these brush strokes happen instantaneously, I wouldn't want this work. If I can look at each individual brush stroke and watch them all knowing they had their own individual moment. Um, sort that out, Lucy, follow me on Twitter. Um, knowing that each individual brush stroke had its own unique moment, a moment of attention where I saw something in the picture and presented it on the canvas. And for that brief moment, that was all that mattered. And then you get to see thousands of those brush strokes cascading in together. That's something beautiful that can't be replicated by AI. Um, it could produce those thousands of brush strokes, but straight away, it can't give the attention of your whole psychology, your whole uh, consciousness to one little brush stroke as you develop that painting. I hope I explained that well. It was probably quite waffly. And, uh, but anyway, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Now, we're still working with these pinks. We're still working with these pinks, baby. Dum dum baby. I'm still working with these pinks, baby. Ba do 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 do. Um, ever. What's the most complicated piece I've worked on? Every piece has its complications. I know that sounds like a cop-out answer, but it's true. Sometimes it's uh, in the first layer. Sometimes it's later on in the piece. It's never, it's never clear. It's hard to know which direction a piece would go in. You're, when it comes to putting paint on a canvas, you're more like a conduit. Not for any crazy thing, but a conduit for your wild side, your more primal side to come out and express itself on the canvas. Um, it's your job as an artist to actually open up that gateway to a more wild version of yourself and let it present itself unashamedly on a surface, on this 2D surface. It's a controlled form, but even on the 2D surface, it's complete and utter chaos. And so, in a way, if you can embrace that more primal, wild side to the application of the paint, then you're doing what I'd call the craft of chaos. And that's a fun phrase. Some inspiration of what to paint. I'm having creators block. That's all good. Creative block happens. It's a real thing. Lucy, you've been on this channel long enough. You know how to deal with creators block. The best way to deal with creative block is figure out what gets you out of creative block before you get into it. Now, Lucy, I'm not sure if you'll like it, but I do have an absolute banger of a playlist. I think you already follow me on Spotify. Jump on Paint Flow and let that playlist take you somewhere new. That playlist was designed, I hardly listen to it. I listen to it when I get myself in a block. And that's the playlist that pulls me out of it. That's the one. Um, so, big, big fan of that. Also, Lucy, maybe any kind of music, maybe some sport, all these things. Um, there's no such thing as a block that's in our heads. Just keep uh, painting, writing, creating. Um, a little bit, Chelsea, to a degree, but also think about uh, when you hit a wall stage, when you're running and you slow right down. Think about when you're painting and all of a sudden you know if you keep going, you stand to ruin the painting. Um, you'll see the wrong things, do the wrong strokes in the wrong areas. It's really important that actually sometimes stopping, regrouping to continue is exactly what you need to do. Think of it like the analogy of a bow and arrow. Sometimes the bow needs to head backwards to really propel itself forwards. If you just keep expecting the arrow to move forward or taking just a tiny little bit backwards, it's just going to just fold, flop, fall. But if you let yourself, you give yourself the time to pull that arrow the whole way back, then you can really send a proper shot and take your art or your creative process to wherever you want it to go. So if you feel yourself lying there in bed or 
taking time off, um, earned time off, or relaxing with friends, or any of these sort of things, whatever your process is, um, and you're anxious about what you should be doing, think about that bow. Now, obviously, pulling back non-stop and never going forward is not the goal, but a good pullback to send it forward might be exactly what you need. So relax and imagine yourself as that arrow. Heading back just a little bit, just a little bit, to make sure you can really fire a shot forward. I think that's wholesome. I think that is wholesome. Here we are, here we are, dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Alright, guys, we're running into. We've reached the stage now where the paint's getting a little bit bluggy to keep going. We need just a little bit more, but if we continue too much, the paint's not going to flow nicely, and we're going to end up doing more chicken scratches than we are proper flowing strokes. We want proper flowing strokes, guys. Big, loud, smooth movements to build up these waves. There we go. Go back, go back to Virginia and Tennessee. There we go. You can probably even hear how it sort of dry brushes onto the canvas now. And that's okay. It's gonna capture these last few areas of pink, cascading through a few of these internal parts of the wave. Still smoothing it out, not letting you go on pesto just yet. What's the most time I've spent working on a painting? That's a good question. Probably like, ooh, probably like, You're testing me. Um, 40 hours? 40 hours, but it could have been 10. It's just I had to keep going back for another round and another round until it actually finally came together in all the ways that I wanted it to. There we go. All right, team, good as gold there. Now, Let's have a look-see here. Do we want to? We've got a couple options, guys. A couple options. First option is I grab out one of the other canvases and have a bit of fun with the remaining paint here. I think I might do that. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I just chose for us. <laughs> um, we're going to pause that one for now. Let the paint properly dry to actually come back and slap it just right. Um, really happy where we've got so far with it. I'll spin it around so you can see it. Come on. There is Steve on his wave. So, as we go, we're going to increase this here, send it around in a nice, flowing, fun direction. We've added a lot of magenta to the wave itself, a lot of energy and a lot of fun. We're making sure our brush strokes are fluid and big. You'll see a lot of them, uh, yeah, a lot of chunks and flicks and all sorts of stuff in the, in the actual stuff. And uh, the wave, a lot of fun things already come through it. You can see the head and the body and the energy of the poise and the pose, the board stabbing through the wave and cutting it through. And you see these shadows cascading off uh, the limbs that make up the person. Very happy with where it's got for layer one. This is gonna be about a seven layer painting to really build up the depth of uh, all the things. Thanks Seb, I'm actually having a great time talking to Lucy Lowell. Thanks to Seb. Oh. Oh, thanks to Seb. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Lucy's pretty cool. Lucy's pretty cool. If you come back on a quieter session to Sarah, we can just chat the whole time. <clears throat> I'm not as cool as Lucy, but I make up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> um, right. <clears throat> Right, 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 right. Let's take this one down and we're gonna bring out another one. Prepare yourselves. Go back, go 
back to Virginia and Tennessee. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got a soft spot for this painting. Put the uh, those up there. Pull down this one here. Move it closer. 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 Turn the lights off in this place. And she shines just like a star. Right. Oh, did I miss some comments there? I'm very sorry. Um, let's have a look-see here. A rose. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Right, a little bit of water. A little bit of water. And then we'll be good to start. Mmm. Delicious. Now. We're going to use up the paint that I've got, which is our turquoise, magenta, and dark magenta. And once it's out, I'm going to skedaddle for a wee bit and then come back. When I say skedaddle, I mean the stream will stop, but I will come back. Let's just grab a bit more of this primer gel. This stuff's good stuff. Seb, you're deaf. <laughs> Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. She says things like that. When someone says something like, you're definitely cooler than me, that's when you know you're definitely not cooler than them. It's when you know you're second place. Um, oh, I'm definitely... I'm a massive nerd, guys. There's no doubt about that. And the shows I watch, like, I try and act cool. And then like someone puts on like some real nerdy show and I'm like, I just get real excited, big fan of it. I'm always down for a rerun of Kung Fu Panda, a rerun of Shrek. I'm always, uh, I love Three Blue, One Brown. It's like a uh, science show on YouTube. I love SciShow actually. That's actually a proper science show on YouTube, big fan of it. Russell. Thanks for the Kiwi, you absolute champion. Appreciate the support. And hello, hello from Ireland. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're looking after yourself and enjoying yourself. Doing whatever you do in Ireland. Do you farm? I think you might be a farmer. We got a couple, we got a lovely guy named Johnny and his wife who follow the stream and are both farmers an island, which is pretty wholesome. Um, this one's coming along in a pretty fun way. It's got more to go, but we're in a pretty fun place with it. We're just going to make sure we don't lose that playful fun in the paint. We keep adding it in a way that we let the actual painting carry with it the energy of the first few strokes. There we go. This is going to end up too, because of the flowers in it and the amount of characters, this is probably going to look similar to a Monet over a Van Gogh. Nothing wrong with that. Monet's great. I would like to see the painting. Voila! Here it is. Sorry for standing in front of it. Sorry. So I'm sorry, I can't be perfect. No, it's just too late. And we can't go back. I'm sorry, I can't be perfect. Sing it. Here we go. Capture a few little bits in here. Who used to listen to Simple Plan when they were a kid? I used to listen to Simple Plan, Green Day, all those songs. They were right up my alley. Blink 182 is coming to uh, New Zealand. Love that. It's probably already been me and Shelly were supposed to go, but uh, we didn't buy tickets. Is it too late? It's probably too late now. 
Sorry, I can't be perfect. Now it's just too late. We can't go back. I'm sorry, I can't be perfect. There we go. Slowly building this out. One paint stroke at a time. What kind of paint do I use, boy? Hello, Lily. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're well. Hope you're happy. Hope you got your coffee this morning just how you want it. If you don't drink coffee, I'm sorry for assuming. Um, I'm using acrylic paint. So this acrylic paint is mixed in with a lot of uh, what's called primal, which is a uh, it has the same viscosity as PVA glue mixed with a lot of uh, PVA glue mixed with a lot of water. It's not; it's much more complicated than that. But um, the reason why I like it is it makes the acrylic paints behave like oils, but dry incredibly fast. Because of the layering you want to do here, guys, and building it up with lots of layers on top of each other, one after the next, I can't do 20 coats with oil. Well, you could, but it's gonna take months, months to years. We don't want that. We want it done ASAP. Seb, an art enthusiast, an art enthusiast here. If you have a chance, do visit the National Art Gallery of Singapore, absolutely. If I'm in Singapore, you best believe I'm going to the National Art Gallery of Singapore, 100%. There's no, you won't be able to keep me out of there. I was banging on the door. Let me in. I want to see your art. Lily tells me it's really good. And they'll be like, there's some crazy Kiwi outside. He's been there for eight and a half hours. He doesn't seem to realize it's a pool door. <laughs> um, there we go. Ooh there. Voila. There we go. Let's just send some of this around here. It's so I can't be. Perfect. Now it's just too late. We can't go back. I'm sorry. Can't be. Perfect. Here we go. And that concludes our, 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 our use of it. Ah, no, hold on. A little bit more up here. There we go. There we go. Hello. A little bit to the creep down this cheek here. I'm going to embrace that. And then a little bit to the creep down through here. Down here. Across here. Oh yes. Sorry, can't be perfect. Now it's just too late. And we can't go back. I'm sorry. Can't be perfect. There we go. And we are done for this layer. Alright guys, that's the end of our two paint trays. I need to get them cleaned up. I need to dash off for a little bit. I need to talk to a photographer about photographing some of the artwork for some art prints. I need to talk to a framer about framing a piece. I need to add some hanging mechanisms to the back of some of these pieces. It's a whole bunch of utility jobs. And it's not going to be... I mean, I love every part of it. But it's not going to be very fun to watch. Um, the guy in the picture above the painting looks like me in the morning. Do you look like a fantastically charismatic man from Hawaii? If so, fantastic, Lucy. Proud of you. <laughs> Keep it up. Um, right. You're more than welcome, Pink. It's been an absolute pleasure being here with you all. Um, if you do want to catch some more, everything you want is on the link in the bio. On the link in the bio, there's replays of these lives. This exact live here will be up. Um, 
there's reels on Instagram, and there is random sporadic yarns on Twitter. So everything you need, it's all there in the link in the bio, including commissions. One spot available for next month if anyone is interested in it. Um, one spot, and then we're on to April. Hey Seb, ever thought about growing a beard? No, I like to be clean shaven. I like it clean shaven. Um, yeah. I don't know, I suppose you could, but nah. Clean shaven's the go, guys. It is for me anyway. Do your thing. Be you. Um, thank you very much, guys. You're all fantastic. Wherever you are in the world, have an absolutely fantastic day or a great night. Please, if you haven't yet, the best advice I can give you for today is drink your water. I'm going to have a little bit more now, and then I'm hitting the track. Love you guys to bit. See you probably later on. We'll see how we get on. Bye, guys.